Oh. Wow. Wow. Rupert Grint and Ben Aldridge join us now. Welcome. Yeah, welcome, welcome. You've never been here before. Here. I've never been here before. I can't really? believe it. Time. I can't believe it. Well, welcome. welcome. Nice it's good you. to be here. Always welcome. Yeah. I haven't <clears throat> done this either. Yeah, both. Yeah. both. Well, there we are. Yeah. Um, and I, I want to start this with the fact that you are allegedly afraid of the apocalypse and intruders. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this <laughs> does kind of entangle both of my fears. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite stressful. Mainly the kind of home invasion is... Is the, uh, uh, yeah. That's a trigger. No it one's okay. No one's broken. No one's triggers yeah. everyone, doesn't yeah. it? Fine with the apocalypse. I'm fine with the apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just set the scene a little bit here. So this is not at the cabin. So you've got Andrew and you've got Eric, and they've got their daughter, and they're staying in this cabin. When at which point this is where your fear becomes a reality. Four yeah. armed strangers, of which you are one, come in and force them to sacrifice one of themselves to save the world from a range of worldwide apocalyptic <laughs> things. What do you do? Well, that would be giving the whole film away. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. But it is—it's it's an impossible decision, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They're forced to—they're basically forced to choose between saving their family and saving humanity, saving yeah. the entire world. Yeah. So explain uh, explain what could happen to the world should they make the wrong decision. So there's lots of different kind of ways we'll see the end. It's, uh, it, it can be kind of a huge weather event. Um, Kind of planes falling out of the sky. Yeah, you we see saw, that we saw in the a promo, little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's lots of different ways the way, the end is coming, and it's uh, plagues, I suppose, like biblical plagues. biblical plagues. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Well, we've almost been there, haven't we? Yeah. It feels very exactly. relevant. It yeah. feels yeah. Like it does. Feel very relevant. Well. Your um your character Redmond. I mean, he he has a. I mean, he comes in as one of the bad guys that comes in, but it's you quickly realise that he's got a past and. There's something going on for him that isn't quite right. He's almost the worst person to be in this situation, yeah. somewhat. He is. He's very hot-headed and, and I don't know, he's, his, his clock is ticking a lot louder than kind of everyone else. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 he's, he's very angry, I think, is the mm. main theme of, mm -hmm. of Redmond. And, uh, he, yeah, he is the worst person to be in this situation. You know you're in safe hands when uh, M. Night Shyamalan is uh, the director and you've, you've worked with him before on, a, on other creepy projects. Yes, we, we do go back. Yeah, we, uh, we shot a TV series for Apple. Yeah. Um, so I've got to know him quite well. He's he's a lovely guy in real life. He's very light hearted. Well, you described him as a genius, I think. Yeah, he is. I think in this genre, he's just he's amazing. He's Have you so got, good at finding the kind of fear and and you've worked you know, out almost a sort of um, like a shorthand to work with him. Right. Yeah. You, I kind of know exactly what he wants, and you, you kind of are very much in sync in that way. And uh, he's great. I love working with him. And, and so for you. I mean, horror is a new genre for you. You've never yeah. done anything like this before. Yeah. Did you Did you enjoy that? I did, but it, it was it was terrifying. Re reading the script is probably the most daunting, it's the scariest script I think I've read. And is like, it scary doing it? Yes. Is it? It, it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the, we had like basically like two, in my head, it's like two different worlds. So the cast were like. Everyone got on, it was so joyful, it was like being at a little theatre camp, we were in each other's dressing rooms, it was great yeah. offset, like really well bonded. And then as soon as you walked into that cabin, because it was like a totally three-dimensional set, the temperature would change, you get tied to a chair, and just like, we, uh, I, I would start feeling the fear that the characters are feeling in your heart Why would you racing. go back? Why do you keep going back and do scary stuff if that's <laughs> no, the case? I know. I need to do a Christmas movie. Yeah, you did. Yes! <laughs> a little so Christmas good. comedy. <laughs> there was another reason you saw the script and thought, actually, this says something <clears throat> quite important. It is not the film, but it is an important part of the film. Yeah, I think, I think I'm uh, really proud of the film that it places a uh, single sex parent family at the centre of the film, and, and, it, and Knight treats that family as they should be, like a completely normal loving family and in that way you know we're, i really believe in the power of representation and believe it has the the power to kind of change our perception and for us to learn about ourselves well, you recently came out yeah yeah well, three years ago yeah and so yeah. we're looking at a part like this um and there's a the, uh, luke evans is, is uh, i think shooting something at the moment which is you know another another aspect that maybe a while ago wouldn't perhaps have been made but it is a fascinating story which i was reading about the other day i mean it is important that that this becomes representational but doesn't Necessarily in this case, as I said, it's not the movie. No, it's not the movie. Yeah, yeah. There's something. There's something very normalising about it, which is, which is brilliant. And, and f uh, for it to be in this genre as well, I think is is. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're kind of riding the wave of progress with it. Yeah, I think good. for a studio to back a film like this. Mm. Good. Um, the accents, both of you. I mean, you've done an American accent before, haven't you? So you're getting yeah, yeah. this is you're good at this. I'm getting used to it a little bit. Getting used still, to this. still a bit kind of. Well, you have, you have to work with a coach. And I was quite—I was reading what you were saying about it. You were like, "It's where you, it's where you place your tongue in your mouth yeah. that oh, yeah. you kind of get the you get the accent <laughs> yeah. from." Is it's that right? Oh yeah, 
relaxing um, the tongue, isn't it? I feel like, I don't even know what I'm doing with it, but like, yeah. yeah. you have to be conscious of what you're doing with your tongue in your mouth when you're talking. Depending. It's very different. Oh. Yeah, American people have a very different tongue shape. In what way? <laughs> <In my, laughs> <in my, laughs> <in my, laughs> tongue, tongue shape, <laughs> tongue shape <laughs> or it's what they do with it. But. Yes, what they do with it when they... <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot, it's very technical. It's getting away from clearly leading us down a certain yeah. pathway here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm intrigued. I want to know. <laughs> I, uh, I actually, uh, there was no way I was going to mention the other thing, um, oh, yeah. and uh, and then and then, and I'm only mentioning it because of something that I read of, that you'd said that you would actually quite and I, and I'm. I, such a massive fan of all of that. It's my it's my go-to if I feel rubbish. <laughs> oh, um, nice. So. You would bring Ron back, you said. You wouldn't, you wouldn't actually be opposed to finding out what he's doing now. Yeah, I think if the, if the timing was right and everyone was kind of coming back, I would definitely revisit it. It's a character that's important to me. I yeah. kind of grew up with him. We kind of became the same person, so... Yeah. I'm, I feel quite protective of him as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I mean, that was so such a profound that. part oh, was, of your yeah. life as it was, well, wasn't it? Yeah, my whole childhood, really, so it's... From the age of 11? Yeah, 11? I was 11, yeah. yeah. So young. Before that, had you been, uh, your experience was Noah's Ark? Was uh, it Noah, were you Noah in a school play? Oh, I was Noah in a school. I was a fish, actually. <laughs> were you a fish? Yeah, He's really yeah. followed your career. One of two, one of two, <laughs> one of two <laughs> fish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, listen, yeah. guys, it's lovely to see you. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, Finally, we've got you, you on, the, yes. on the sofa. Knock at the Cabin is in cinemas from Friday, February the 3rd, and Holly will be straight at the front of the queue. Yeah. I'll be there, right yeah. under a pillow.